So um, we're talking about the various models that we have and um, you can purchase these rackets which comes and some of the advantages to doing it. Ralph and I were talking about sometimes you get a player that's in a, in, has some bad uh, habits or they've lost a confidence and it's just a way to reintegrate and start introducing that left side and we found that uh, you know a lot of times when you start to work on your your weaker side your other side improves and, it, and um, there's other uh, similar type advantages that takes place so I'm also going to talk about a few of the models we also um, there's so many good technologies out there with companies that make rackets and and Babolat and Wilson and they all have and head and they have these little things that that they do really well The you know say the woofer system with Babolat or the head um, the prestige, the sort of small head, but with a super good racket head speed gets through the air quickly. So we, we Lionel Bird again, I have to credit him for, for coming, you know, his idea was to have a handle company and that way you could apply a handle to any racket and that, that way you get the advantages and, and the dolls Babolats glued together. One is, I guess you guys know it's legal. <laughs> and we always say, your body will thank you um, when you become uh, bilateral as opposed to unilateral. We call it playing this tennis with both sides of your body, both sides of your brain. It's true, yeah, two-handed backhand does bring your left-hand side and there are ways that traditional players are using their left side, but we feel like doing it as equal as you can, sending more messages to the weaker side in the end will be healthier for you or uh, in the process will be healthier for you too. So this is a Pro Kenex designed um, and, and I'm actually talking with the inventor or the owner of Pro Kenex since 1933. I don't know if you guys knew that the Babolat, uh, the number one selling rack at all time was a pure drive. It was originally a Pro Kenex mold that the uh, French owned Babolat people took and put a woofer system in and then it, went, it, it played super well with this. It's, it's in a grommet sort of technology. This has the kinetic, so this is uh, meant to take out the cushioning of, and, and for up until this point with the whole history of, of two-handle tennis, most of the people that have come to our company are either extremely intelligent like Ralph and uh, professors, retired professors. We just had a neuroscientist, prof retired professor, Tom Scott from San Diego State. They understand all the brain chemistry behind and the health benefits. So they, they were sort of the early adopters. The other people were people that came to us in pain and they had like a lot of um, uh, overuse injuries, including myself when I used a one handle racket. Now we're dividing the vibration. So there are health benefits in the racket. So see how it's going down two handles. But then you add a racket like the Pro Kenex. It's got this cushy kinetic every time you hit the ball. And it also, their racket, um, we are planning to make a one-piece Pro Kenex, by the way. This is the racket that my girlfriend, Hiromi Sasano, won the National 40s, got San Diego Player of the Year last year um, using a double-handle Pro Kenex because it was a local company that sponsored her. And that's why the pros, the advantages, a lot of times pros are already have contracts with people. We take your racket and we put our handle on your racket, just like a turn of grip, and it should be there. Some occasionally they do come loose, and we have to re-glue it, but very rarely. And yeah, it just becomes a one-piece, um, two-handle version of anything that you've got out there. So.